Hi guys, my name is Marcella. This is going to be my reaction to Vikings Season 5, Episode 17. I'm very excited to watch. I hope you guys enjoy it too. As you guys can see, I changed my scenery. My scenery, like, I built kind of a studio here at my house in one room because I felt like the other way wasn't working all that much. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And... I'm still trying out like the mic and everything like because we we changed positions so if it is too low you guys let me know please down below in the comments also don't forget if you have any suggestions about shows that you guys would like me to watch please put them down below I'll check it out and see what I haven't watched yet that I can, could watch and also, all the links to my Patreon are down below. There is also to all my social media. Oh, and by the way, in the Patreon, if you're watching this episode right now, there is two episodes ahead on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is going to be Viking Season 5, Episode 17. Who are you burying in such fine style? Oh, he doesn't know. Your brother. We really? She didn't tell him? It was so sudden, Alfred. He... One moment he was well, and then he collapsed. And it, it was terrible. Damn, good acting. Oh, thank the gods. Please don't kill him. I had no cause to do it, but you have done it. I'm tense. Loki was right. We have all changed. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not trusting that. We do. For now, it is time to find out those who threaten us, who is against us. A family member. A brother. Yeah, you screwed, because he's getting a lot of support. I had to deal with your brother. My brother? I didn't think she would tell him. What does that mean? Is he gonna kill his own mother because of that? I poisoned him. I killed one of my sons to save the other. May God forgive me. I wonder if that's true like in the history in history that actually happened with them well, that is to be expected thank you so bad for Alfred can we talk now damn this woman's up it's cold you grieve as if you were an ordinary person you show your feelings as if you were an ordinary person, but all of that must stop. A king must be prepared to do the most terrible things. Things against all conscience. If he wants to survive. I feel like she's kind of right. Like, I don't like that she killed her own son. But I feel like she's kind of right about in this time, they had to act tough to survive but just not too merciless I believe because you don't want to rule with fear you want to rule with love me too and that girl he hates me I ought to have him killed if I can order the death of my own brother and who else will dare stand against me? I think that would be a mistake. This girl is really, really smart. I fear you are a god. And a merciful god will always be more popular among the common people than a vengeful god like Odin. That's what I was saying about the king. That's precisely what I was saying. You want to rule with love Wouldn't and not you fear? you rather be loved than feared? We have to leave. 
Just looking. We are ready. Are they gonna kill Floki? Come on, you old witch. What? Why did you say that? Because it's true. You are a witch and a murderess. And you deserve to die! Shit! What are you doing? Stop! Stop! Don't you worry, Floki. We're doing this for love. For the love of my brother and sister. No! No! Stop this now! Shit! She never killed anyone! Ah! Shit this! This is madness! No. I have got to put this alone. That bitch I and I thought he he might be good. Stay her. I should have known you were more ambitious than me. My only ambition is revenge. I am so pissed right now. I am so disappointed and pissed off right now. I thought it might be a plan, but from the people that just got killed, and not him. I've been thinking that you can make yourself more useful to me. You could leave Cadiga. Go on a diplomatic trip to the Great Hall of King Olaf the Stout. And if I refuse, I don't want to leave Cadiga. I'm afraid you cannot refuse. And it would be a pity if I had to burn her alive. You wouldn't do that, brother. Now would you? <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't. Not if you agree to leave Cadigat first thing in the morning. Hmm? I really don't like this. Then this episode's hard to watch. At least they didn't show that. I want to live. I have never done anything against Shetu. I was always more on his side than Avens, and surely he knows that. These people are heartless. With maidens, you had your way. Each I can't watch, I'm sorry. And each must die someday. My lord, the ships of a large Viking army have been seen in West Wales. If they continue their course, they will arrive at our borders in a matter of days. I advise you make me the head of your army. I think you should listen to me. Words are fine, but they don't win battles. If you make me the head of the army, I will find a way of dealing with the Danes. Otherwise, you have no hope. Damn it. I want to see him as the head of them. It's like what could have been with Ragnar and the other king that I forgot his name. The one that really, really liked him but betrayed him. What do you have in mind? Do you still want to be king of all Norway? My ambition has never changed. Oh, then. I should like to be a queen. Damn. So, maybe I was wrong to like her so much? My lady? What were you doing? Doesn't matter.
it came some theories to my mind about what she could have been doing. They killed them all. All of them. Your father and your brother. They killed them all. They wanted revenge. <laughs> and they had planned it a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for her. No. I can't believe it. What about the hell king? No, please, surely they couldn't have killed me, please. All of them. <laughs> when you come back, we should get married. Yes. We will have lots of children. You won't be idle anymore. Oh, I won't be idle, even before that. Believe me. I'm afraid Ivor's gonna what kill her. Mean? Farewell, my love. And be careful. Yes? Mm -hmm. Be careful of my brother. Is she gonna poison you? I don't trust her anymore. Nope, do not eat that. If you don't love me, what if you love King Hal? He could make you the Queen of Norway. I suppose he could try. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid to ask you if you love me. Damn. You are one of the most famous men in the world. And you're afraid of me? I don't know. Alone, naked, and afraid. Damn, and he's a poet too. You know something? I respect you even more for saying that. I don't know if I trust her. And I will take your words and lock them away in my heart forever. I want to. I want to continue to ship it and trust, but I'm afraid to have my heart broken twice today. Is she gonna kill herself? Yeah. I feel bad, she's such a good person. Oh, she set her mind to it. Damn it. <laughs> So sad. Oh, this was a very hard episode to watch. Like, I I have so many feelings that I don't even know how to say about so many things. Like, I really wish this girl wouldn't have killed herself. She was so good, and I'm so mad with her dad and her brother for what they did. They totally fooled me i they were one of the few people that i was trusting and then they totally broke my heart today and with the whole conversation of bjorn with the girl that he likes i don't know like I, it was a very good moment we hadn't had that heart to heart and romantic stuff of bjorn but i'm afraid that she might be with the other king if he ends up being the Norway king. But I feel like she believes that Bjorn is going to be king. More than she believes that the other guy is going to be king. But I hope that's true and not just me wishful thinking. Um, I, I thought that scene where Judith told Alfred that she killed her, the other brother. Like her son. It was very difficult and 
I didn't expect her to say that. And I thought that his, his reaction was very valid. But once she started talking about how that she, she, how he couldn't act like he was acting, he needed to act more like kink and like separate the person that he was from the job, at least in public. I thought that was really good advice. And I was like, I was saying, I was saying about he needed to act like that, uh, like that was a good advice, but he didn't need to be merciless and or heartless and he needed to rule with love and not fear. And then that with Ivor that happened that the girl that's married to Ivor right now, she said pretty much the same thing to Ivor when he was talking about me killing his brother. And I was afraid for his brother and I'm afraid what's gonna happen in the next couple episodes. Especially with the girl that he loves right now and that wants to marry. I hope nothing happens to her, but I'm not doubting it because we know how Ivory is. And that's it. That was my reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you guys next time. Bye.